Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Lots Project and today we will be installing this Gouda wireless tire pressure monitoring system. I will monitor the pressure in our truck tires as well as our trailer tires. So now I'm going to show you how to install one of the pressure monitors uh, onto the tire. Uh, obviously need one of the pressure monitors, one of the nuts that they send, and they also send the wrench. First thing you're going to do is remove the cap from the valve stem. And then you're going to take the flat nut that they supplied and thread it on to the valve stem. Thread it down. Take the tire pressure sensor, thread it on. Tighten it with the wrench. And then you're going to use this wrench to take the nut from behind. It's got that gap on it. You're going to back that nut up against as a locking mechanism. against the sensor so it doesn't back itself off and you lose it going down the road because they're kind of expensive. So one thing you're going to want to remember is if you are going to need to fill your tires you're going to want to make sure you have this wrench so you can loosen that nut behind and be able to get this off to fill your tires. So the power cord that comes with the monitor um, is a USB that you would plug into your dash or um, inverter or whatever you have. Um, so the instructions guide is to plug this in in the vehicle and then pair all of the sensors to the, the tire position in the vehicle and use the stickers to keep track of where they go. Um, I was thinking about it and I decided to use my Anchor Power Core 26800 um, battery. Uh, it's a battery bank. We use a lot to charge electronics and whatnot. Um, so instead of having to have this in the vehicle, I will just plug it in and take it with me, pair the sensor, install it on the tire right away. Uh, no need for stickers or trying to figure out uh, what sensor goes where. All right, so in order to pair um, one of the sensors, we are going to hit the code button. On the top here, there's a, a spot where I'm going to hold the sensor up to during the during the cycle. So what you do is you hit and hold code till it beeps. It's going to bring up all the tires. We are going to cycle through them with the plus or minus button. Um, we are currently at the driver's side front tire. So I will hit plus. Now the driver's side front tire is flashing. I'm going to take my sensor, 
I'm going to hit code, which will start flashing. I got a beep. It's paired. And that's done. So it's, it's reading that the sensor has zero pressure because we don't have it on. So let's plug it in, see if we get it change. So right now I got 73 PSI in that tire, 72 degrees. So I'm going to go get the rest of the sensors paired and uh, installed. I got seven more to do, uh, three on the truck and four on the trailer. Once I get that done, I will be installing the repeater. Uh, to boost the signal from the trailer tires to the cab of the truck and We'll get this mounted inside and and that should wrap it up All right, so I got all the sensors installed and uh, Brought the monitor into the cab of the truck. We have the truck sitting in the position It would be if it was hooked up to the trailer Everything's reading fine um, Not really dropping signals. I let it work for a little while and I haven't lost one yet um, you can see it cycling through all the tires that I set up and paired with the sensors. Um, so at this point, I don't think I'm going to install my repeater. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to keep it um, handy. Uh, the supplies to wire that into the DC of the trailer um, just in case we start driving and traveling and I start losing sensors. Um, at that point, when we stop for the night, I will just wire it into some DC inside the trailer and um, pair it up and it should be good to go. But for now, I'm not going to uh, use that power. Um, the less power we need to use, the better off we are. So the next thing we'll do is uh, mount, the, mount the bracket on the dash to hold uh, the monitor. Uh, we kind of went back and forth whether we were, whether we were going to use the suction mount or the dash mount. Uh, we had an extra sticky pad left over from our installation of our dash cam. Uh, if you want to watch that video, you can click on the link above. Um, but we decided to give it a shot and just stick it to the dash. And if we don't like it there, we can always peel it up and put it somewhere else. So now I'm going to take the sticky put it on the pad, mount it on the dash, and we will uh, get some video of it after it's installed. All right, so I got the bracket mounted, um, the monitor on the bracket, and we're all set. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is I realized after I got going that uh, there's an internal battery in this. So as I had it plugged into my anchor, it was actually charging. I unplugged my anchor had the power on and it was good to go. So no need for the power core, um, but they are really handy. So if you wanna pick one up, I'll put a link below. Um, as always, all the links in the video description will likely be Amazon links. Um, and if you click on those, anything you buy during that shopping trip, we get a little commission on, doesn't cost you anything more and it helps support the Lots Project. So, we're all set up with this. We're going to use it for a while and then I will get back with another video on how we like it. And then if we end up installing the repeater, I will definitely do a video on that. I'm sure it'll be a late night because it'll stop working and uh, have to rush around and do it. But I will be sure to get film of that and, uh, and get that posted.